Well, it's still very early in the mail-in voting process, but at last check, a little over 10,000 ballots have been returned statewide. CNN reports about 2% of those ballots have been rejected for errors. You've heard it since mail-in ballots were organized and sent out. Send it back early. That's very important. Read your instructions. Not only does sending it back early ensure the Postal Service delivers it on time, it gives the Board of Elections time to correct any of your mistakes. The State Board of Elections reports hundreds of mail-in ballots have already been rejected for errors. The most common is the witness form on the envelope being filled out incorrectly. The ballot tracking system on the State Board of Elections website is now active. It will tell you when your ballot is accepted or, in rare cases, rejected. If you don't have access to that, your Board of Elections office will call or email you. But sending you a replacement ballot can take days, which again is why you're encouraged to send your mail-in ballots back early. We try to send something out to them so that they can take care of any deficiency in that, that ballot back to us and then, uh, then have it brought back to us. Extra workers have been brought in at the elections office in Mecklenburg County, so you can also call to check on your ballot. Coming up tonight, all new at 6 o'clock, the other problems voters are running into when they try to return their ballots in person. Live in the newsroom, Brett Baldeck, Fox 46, getting results.